Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, given diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, A, D, C is 90 degree angle. And likewise, this angle A, B, C is uh, 90 degrees uh, angle as well. And moreover, uh, this side uh, A, B is equal to this side uh, B, C. The side uh, C, D is uh, 30 centimeter. Whereas uh, this side A, D is being represented by X centimeter. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, quadrilateral has been given to us as uh, 576 uh, centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, x. In other words, we are going to find the value of this uh, side length uh, AD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these uh, side lengths A, B and B, C. If I label uh, this side uh, lowercase a, then this side has got to be lowercase a as well. And now we can see this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees uh, as well. So therefore I'm going to connect uh, these two vertices a and uh, c as you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result we are ended up with these two right triangles. This right triangle uh, a c d and this uh, other right triangle uh, a, B, C as well. And now I'm going to label the area of this triangle uh, A, C, D as uh, A sub 1 and the area of this other triangle uh, A, B, C as uh, A sub uh, 2. Then the sum of these areas A sub 1 plus A sub 2 must be equal to this uh, total area 576. So therefore I can write down uh, A sub 1 uh, plus uh, a sub 2 is going to be equal to 576 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ACD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times the base times the height of the triangle and here for this uh, triangle ACD our base is uh, 30 and the height is uh, x and the area of this uh, triangle is being represented by a sub 1. Therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a sub 1 is going to be equal to a half uh, times uh, 30 times uh, x and if we simplify our uh, a sub 1 value is going to be equal to 15 times uh, x and now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle ABC and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula as well. Area equals to a half times uh, base times the height and here for this triangle ABC our base is lowercase a and the height is lowercase a as well and the area of this triangle is being represented by a sub 2. So therefore we can write uh, area a sub 2 equals to a half uh, times our base is a times height is a as well. So therefore our area a sub 2 turns out to be a square divided by 2. And now let's focus once again on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down equation 1 over here a sub 1 plus a sub 2 equals to 576 and in our case our a sub 1 value is 15 times x and a sub 2 value is a square divided by 2. We are going to substitute uh, those values over here. So therefore we can write uh, 15 times uh, x plus uh, a square divided by 2 equal to 500 uh, 76 and now we are going to remove this fraction by just multiplying by 2 across the board. So therefore we are going to have uh, 30 times uh, x plus uh, this 2 and 2 is gone. So this is going to give us uh, a square equals to 1152 when we multiply these two numbers. 
and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number two. And now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle ACD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, this uh, side AC, whereas our two other legs are uh, 30 and uh, x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 30 square is going to be equal to a c square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 900 is going to be equal to a c square. I'm going to label this one as our equation number three. And now once again we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle ABC as well. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is once again uh, this side uh, AC, whereas our two other legs are lowercase a and lowercase a as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square is going to be equal to a c square. So therefore we are ended up with the two times uh, a square equal to a c square. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation number four. And here we are ended up with these equations three and four. And we are going to compare these two equations. And we can see our right hand sides uh, are identical. So therefore we can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, two times uh, a square is going to be equal to x square plus uh, 900. And now I'm going to divide uh, across the board uh, by two, two over here, two over here, and two over here. And here we can see two and two is gone. So therefore a square value turns out to be x square divided by 2 plus uh, 450 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 5 and now once again let's focus on this equation to 30x plus a square equals to 1152 and from equation 5 our a square value is x square divided by 2 plus uh, 450. So I am going to substitute uh, this uh, a square value, this one uh, over here. So therefore after substitution we are going to have uh, 30x uh, plus uh, our a square. I am going to substitute this one which is uh, x square divided by 2 plus uh, 450 equals to 1152 and now I am going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across uh, the board with each and every term for once we multiply that is going to give us uh, 60x and this 2 and 2 is gone we are ended up with the x square plus uh, 2 times 450 is going to give us uh, 900 equal to 2304 on the right hand side and now we are going to rearrange the left hand side in a descending order so therefore we can write uh, x square plus uh, 60 times uh, x plus uh, 900 equals to 2304 and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply this uh, identity on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, the left hand side as a complete square uh, x uh, plus uh, 30 whole uh, square is going to be equal to and this uh, right hand side uh, this is a square of uh, 48. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides 
and here we can see this uh, square square root is gone likewise uh, the square root and this square root undo each other so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x uh, plus uh, 30 equals to 48 let's subtract 30 from both sides to isolate x uh, we can see this is gone so therefore we can see that our x value turns out to be 18 centimeter so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 18 centimeter and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye